हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर संगीता एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल पाठशाला वेर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्पेसिफिक बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hello friends and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Park Shala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and this video we are going to talk about syphilis. Syphilis as we all know is a sexually transmitted disease and it is a infection of a spirochete which we call the Tryponema pallidum. So kind of syphilis we have is the acquired syphilis which we get it from outside or when a child is born with the syphilis which is the congenital syphilis so before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos talking about a sexually transmitted disease which people often keep it to themselves so they don't go to a uh, practitioner they don't go to a doctor to show it because the canker which is the initial syphilis is usually painless and they often underestimate it they often take it for granted they don't show it to the uh, doctor and then what happens it get transmitted sexually to other individual and when a mother is having syphilis up to 18 weeks before getting pregnant then it may be transmitted to the child and child may born with a congenital syphilis so this is how it is actually transmitted because it is taken for granted so talking about the primary syphilis we the acquired syphilis now it can be the primary secondary as well as tertiary syphilis so primary syphilis what happens initially there are cankers so at the site of uh, inoculation at the site of Uh, the development of the syphilis usually when it is a sexually transmitted then these cankers may develop at the penis cankers in case of male and in case of females in the uvula so these cankers they can be also oral cankers so the canker in the oral are uh, dull red color macules or the papules which can be later on eroded or which can be later on ulcerated so we have got the main primary feature of a primary syphilis is that there is a development of the canker so these cankers are usually develop at the site of inoculation and there can be again oral oral can uh, cankers also so the next one is what happens after 50 after 6 weeks of having primary syphilis the patient if it is left untreated and can go to the secondary phase which is the secondary syphilis so in the secondary syphilis now uh, first of all the primary syphilis i just wanted to tell you that in case of oral cankers the oral lesion in the male so you can remember it from the smooch so if a guy is smooching please excuse me for the statement so if a guy is kissing then he usually kiss on the upper lip so remember that canker on the upper lip are usually seen in males and cankers on the lower lip are usually seen in females then again they are usually not always so um so talking about the secondary syphilis secondary syphilis we have is uh, we have so many things important thing you need to remember there are three things which are important in the secondary syphilis so first one is the mucus patch second one we have is the split papule third one is the condyloma lata so first one is the mucosal patch so mucosal patches there are patches which are present on the mucocutaneous membrane so there are patches which are present on the mucus membrane so red color patches you will see on the tongue uh, on the gingiva and these patches are highly infectious so if a person is having mucosal patch and if a person that individual is kissing some other individual there is high chances of spreading the syphilis so you have to be very careful before kissing anyone uh, so there are mucosal patches also there are split papules now if you have seen there are Uh, at the angle of the mouth or at the angle of the nose what happens there usually there are there is a nodule along with that nodule and there is a skin nodule with a central linear erosion 
so if you see that there is the, this nodule is eroded nodule that is a split papule that means a papule it is just a papule which is splitted you can remember it as so it is a papule with some kind of erosion is present so so third one we have is the condyloma lata condyloma lata are the wart like lesions which are present on the genitalia which are present on the anal region so this is the main feature of the secondary syphilis along with that we have some constitutional uh, also we see that there are cone coin like lesions which occur on the face in case of secondary syphilis so we call it kirkinate lesions other than that we have the other lesion constitutional uh, features constitutional symptoms in case of secondary syphilis that are the snail track ulcers if you see i'm going to show you picture of all these things so if you see the snail track lesions they are lesions like the track which a snail has left behind so there is going to be lesions in the soft palate there are uh, lesions on the tonsillar area along with the swelling there is going to be a white um, discoloration of the ulcer uh, in case of infection with the treponema palladium that is also again comes in the secondary syphilis also we have in we have got hyperpigmented lesion so there are a uh, hyperpigmented lesions you will see hyper there are hyperpigmented macules i must say so these are moles like like this a mole is there no like that big big hyperpigmented uh, macular lesions you will see that is in case of immunocompromised individual so a person uh, is having hiv a person is having any other disease so if a person is an immunocompromised individual then in case of secondary syphilis he may develop some hyperpigmented macules on the body parts and they actually they are present as explosive and in a wide spread form that are our lewis malignant so lewis malignant are the hyperpigmented macules which are seen in case of secondary syphilis next comes the tertiary syphilis so tertiary syphilis now the stage has reached into the another level now the disease is involving the cns as well as the cvs so cns and cns cvs involvement is seen and we see that there are gamma these are the sw uh, swellings which are present on the palate which are present on the tongue so basically these are the swollen masses which are present now i they can be ulcerated sometimes and also in the tertiary syphilis we see that the patient is having saddle nose so this there is going to be a saddle nose so coming to the secondary congenital syphilis congenital syphilis hutchinson stride we have already covered in a separate video so hutchinson stride consists of three things and in that video i have shown how the mulberry molar look like how the notched incisor look like what is interstitial keratitis so there are ear eye and teeth lesions teeth lesions are notched shaped incisors teeth lesion occur two things there is one is a notched incisor another one is mulberry molar so a mulberry like cusper present on the molars then is the interstitial keratitis that is the inflammation of the conjunctiva and third one is the ear which is the eighth nerve deafness so along with that in the congenital syphilis we have got hegomonachy sign so hegomonachy sign is the irregular thickening of the sternoclavicular portion of the clavicle so where the clavi in the clavicle where the clavicle meets the sternum there is irregular thickening which we see at the sternoclavicular junction at the sternoclavicular portion this is what we call the hegomonachy sign which is seen in the congenital syphilis also we see that there is parrot beak appearance of the uh, patient so the patient looks like the parrot beak also we see there are ruggeds so these ruggeds are the cracks or the fissures which are present at the corner of the lip and at the corner of the nose so here we will see that there are some cracks there are fissures which are present so we see that ruggeds are also there ruggeds are also there and we see there is underdeveloped maxilla there are some secondary features which see like high arched palate like that um, like saddle nose parrot beak appearance and um, short maxilla so hypoplasia of the maxilla we see frontal bossing 
saber skin so these are all the things which we see in a congenital syphilis when a child is born with congenital uh, hutchinson's triad we have covered in a separate video so guys this is about the syphilis and i am going to show you a picture of secondary syphilis so secondary syphilis we have got the mucosal patches now this is a picture from the google itself so this is a mucosal patch and this is uh, what a split papules look like like a papule is split at the corner of the mouth as you can see and this there is also mucosal patches like this will occur on the tongue where so much of so many patches we are going to see on the tongue also uh, the mulberry molars and the hutchinson's triad is there is a separate video i've covered on the hutchinson's triad so that you will see in the hutchinson's triad now in the secondary syphilis we also see snail triac like ulcer so there these are the snail this is not a single ulcer as you can see this is more like a track of a snail so these are the snail track like ulcers which we see and this is our uh, Lewis maligna. So Lewis maligna, as you can see, these are hyperpigmented macules which are present all over the skin. As you can see, these are brown brown spots which are present in case of a secondary syphilis in immunocompromised individual. So this is about the syphilis. Hope you have enjoyed the video. So if you have enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Also, you can comment in the comment section below, and there is a link in the description box below to support me on Patreon as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes. So till then, keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated. I'll see you soon in the next video.